The Invisible Boundaries exhibit ended up at the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation because that's where it belongs. The Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation is about elk and education. So it was a natural place to come to Missoula, Montana, have the exhibition here, uh, have it be open to school children, to hunters, to the public in general, and helping people understand um, the intricacies and the wonder, frankly, of elk movement. It captures people's imagination. If you really think about large landscape connectivity and large landscape conservation, it's really important to think of elk not just in the greater Yellows, Yellowstone ecosystem, but to think about how they move across the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. And that's what this exhibition helps, I think, people understand. So for years, Arthur Middleton, Joe Reese, Hall Sawyer, a team of scientists worked together across agencies. They worked together, they build bridges, they gather data, and the result of that is an amazing experience. Joe Reese, through at least 10 years of work, living out of the back of a Toyota pickup, made these photographs, largely with camera traps, because camera traps do not affect wildlife movement. James Prozac's artwork. He brings to life in a, in a new way uh, the beauty of this ecosystem, you know, that is centered in so many ways on elk foundationally. Art is in part what helped protect Yellowstone in 1872. The Invisible Boundaries exhibition speaks to the human journey. Not just the elk journey, but our journey being curious, trying to find out more about wildlife. But conservation, wildlife movement, wildlife migration are becoming increasingly important by the day.